All right, y'all, so the plot thickens. It looks like they are coming back at Caesar, man. They are coming back, clapping back hard. So we're gonna see what, what's going on here, but I think that like, like really, when it comes down to this whole argument and everything that they have going on, I've been on both sides of it where I can understand one perspective, but I also understand the other. Um, the more that I improve, the more that I learn, the more that I get into certain circles where I'm around people who are of a certain status and they have access to a whole bunch of information and stuff that I never had access to. And I didn't really know that, bro, it, you got all these technical people out here analyzing all day. You got all these people with all these skills working together. And this is how these guys are building their wealth together. Like I was just out here doing it solo. I was doing everything by myself. I didn't have no information. I was out here winging it, doing me. And then you realize that the game is played at a higher level way differently. It's like, can you hold it against people because they have a network full of people that's valuable? It's like what they supposed to stay around nobody or, or be with people who are less valuable or something like that. It's like, no, it, it makes sense. If you want to level up, get around people who can level you up. Does it not? But the thing is, people don't be wanting to want to pay to join people's private groups and stuff like that. Listen, I got a Patreon, bro. Your boy got a Patreon and people could have access to information that I have that they don't have, that they could not have. And I mean, a lot of people don't want to pay that $25. If it, and, and what's crazy is just the payment could make them thousands, tens of thousands, even millions, depending on who you are. But that's the thing. So it's like certain people are are willing to pay to play and, and pay for mentorships and be around the right people. Certain people are not. So I'm, I'm kind of other headspace where it's like, if you're not willing to pay to put yourself in these positions, how are you going to complain about the people who are in these positions? But then again, I don't know the rules and laws and stuff behind pumping them groups, being together as a group, buying stuff and stuff like that. Because I mean, in real life, you could do the same thing. You get all of your friends together. If y'all all successful and got money, you'd be like, you know what? Hey, let's go all buy this property. Let's go buy every property on it. Like you could you could really manipulate and control some stuff, it, no, no matter what. A powerful group of people is a powerful group of people. So you, you're gonna tell these people that they can't be together, making move. Now lying publicly and stuff like that is crazy. Like that's the part that that's crazy, but you just being a, in a group making moves. I don't think that that's a bad thing personally, but I, it was one point in time where I would have said it is probably a bad thing. So yeah, I, that's why I say I get it. But yeah, let me know what you all think. How do you all feel about this in the comment section, man? Well, do I have a hilarious video for you that shows all the contradictions in this space? But here's the thing. I do have a pretty interesting video on Crash and Brett going into the inception of Brett. I'm going to cover that video later on today, but you have to watch this one because uh, Crash's main enemy is Caesar's Calls. And just listen to this audio recording that he recorded himself pretty much. Just listen. Caesar's Calls argument is that there's a cabal, right, with Crash and a bunch of other influencers that get into some of these meme coin products before anyone else. They they snipe it, right? They get in, they promote it at higher market cap sizes, and they dump on everybody. Look, if you're honest and upfront about what you're doing in this space, whatever, right? If you, I mean, dumping on dumping on everybody's the crazy part. <laughs> that that's what that's what the crazy part is. Like if you're jumping into something, it's ways you can go and pump something and then it not be a dump. Like you could jump in, like, yo, I don't think that this is gonna go too far, but I think that this can go far enough that we can all get in here, make some quick money, and try to get out. Hey, if y'all want to take this risk with me, let's see. Let's see what happened. And boom, like you, you can go in like that. Now, obviously, it's not as effective as I'm holding this to the moon forever because when people see that type of conviction, then they're going to really go all in on and then you just dump on like like that's the shady stuff. Like that's the stuff that's not cool. But at the point where you just tell people, yo, we just trying to make a quick play, run it up real quick. I was I would see no problem with that. I think it's, it is the lying that really makes it makes it weird. You say that you're early to some of these projects if you're whitelisted and those sorts of things. Well, share that with the community. Don't pretend like you're not. Like, keep in mind, I'm going to have a second video coming out today about Crash and those sorts of things, right? But here's the thing about Caesar and Caesar's Calls. This is an exclusive or was an exclusive Telegram group Caesar's Calls has, right? Okay, so when you have an exclusive Telegram group, right, with your, just your community and you're shilling meme coins in there with extremely low market cap sizes and your telegram groups buy those meme coins with extremely small market cap sizes and say some of those meme coins go on to be bigger and the rest of the DeFi world sees it on like dex tools or something like that right and your exclusive telegram dumps on the community you don't think that's like some sort of cabal you don't think that's a little that, that that's pretty much almost the same thing right or similar at least right the fact that you have an exclusive 
definitely in the same family. I think the lion aspect is the tough part. And then I don't know, Caesar, I did hear Caesar's response to this. Caesar's response was that he didn't, that his group is public, so anybody can join. And that kind of makes a difference too. If anybody has the, is welcome to just walk in there. And I mean, you can't really argue against that. It's your fault if you're not in something that's free. It's your fault if you're not in something that's paid and you complaining about people making moves without you. What you think they're going to do? Like be at a high level and not make moves together? No, you either want to do something with yourself and be around people who are trying to do something with themselves, or you want to stay doing it your, your way, which obviously if you trying to make it, you, you, it's, your way has not been working. You got to try something different. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, both people are using their networks, but I think that Caesar is more so tackling the lion and the deception in what they're doing. While he, his approach is just to tell people what's going on and what he's doing, and he sticks with it, I guess. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely in the same family, but let me know how you all feel about that. Exclusive group of people who are buying meme coins or any tokens, right? And before anybody else, because you're calling him in this video, you're going to see him talk about him calling small cap meme coins with a few holders. So you're telling me that's not the same thing. You just literally shilling random shit in your telegrams and then people are buying them to pump the price to get volume. People see that on Dexels, maybe trending or something like that. And then your community dumps on them because look, if they're here to make money, they're not dumb. They're going to make money when those things pumps. Isn't that similar? Anyways, let's listen to what Caesar has to say. And remember, this is him talking about a Telegram group where he makes these calls so people can get in early to things. Yeah, anyways, just uh, let's... Basically, what this whole situation, I don't know if you all are seeing the same picture and it's being painted clearly for you all. Basically, what this space is really about is it's groups of powerful people controlling things. And if you think about it, the whole world is that way, right? Like we have the government controlling, you have police controlling certain things at a smaller level, you have people even... Like it's being exposed that people is controlling people over the government. It's like, it's, it's all types of, it's all about groups of people coming together and having more power as a group. And that's what people need to start realizing. Your network is important. Like that's the reason that I started my Patreon. Like I realized like the more that you live and the more that you learn, the more that you learn and, and, and like really see when you get out here and dive into this stuff, network is important. Network is important. Who you are around, like you need some powerful people by your side. Because, listen, you're going to be going up against groups of people. If you, especially if you're competitive, you're trying to accomplish certain things. Other people trying to accomplish the same things that you're trying to accomplish, and you might be getting in their way trying to accomplish something. So they'll be ready to take you out and go straight through you for what they want. And if they got a more powerful team by their side, you done for. Like, and, and that that's what's. This should be putting you in a headspace to to. Watch your, your network, man, your network. Like, you you should be putting yourself around powerful people, not sitting here complaining about what they're doing, personally. that That's what I would say. But if it's something sketchy, if it's something that goes against you having integrity, like lying and manipulating and stuff, never. Like, like per, if, you, if you stand on principle. Now, if you just don't get no fuck, you just about the bread, do what you do. But you got to live life on your terms. Certain things I just could not never bring myself to do. I could never bring myself to do certain things. But if you can and you're okay living with that, be you. I don't care. I'm not finna sit here and judge you. I'm like, damn, he willing to do that? I was always gonna lose against him if he wasn't a lion snaking. Uh, he got it. Like, that. that's just what it is. Like, but you have to be able to accept. You have to you know who you are as a person. You have to be able to accept who other people are. Listen to, listen to them react to the fact that I didn't buy it because I'm a fucking selfless guy and I wanted my people to eat. And if you don't believe people can be that selfless, I mean, do you know how many early CAs I got over the years that I didn't touch, didn't buy, didn't call? Or I'd say, okay, I'll call this one. That's good. I don't even think about this <laughs> ever. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let's run that back. What did he say? And if you don't believe people can be that selfless, I mean, do you know how many early CAs I got over the years that I didn't touch, didn't buy, didn't call? Or I'd say, okay, I'll call this one. That's good. I don't even think about myself ever because I know I have to make a choice. I'm so selfless. You know how many early CAs I got and I didn't call because I'm so better than the other people in this space? But sometimes I did call them. Ridiculous. This whole selfless thing. Do you guys think that these guys are making these uh, exclusive uh, telegrams and these tele telegrams for their health? You don't think there's a financial incentive in all of it? Look, at, just use your brains and understand that no nobody does anything for free in this space, even if they, they're acting like they are. Because I know I have to make a choice every single time. Do I buy it? Do I try to get like two buys in? Just so in case it does blow up, I might have a chance to sell on a huge green candle if it lasts a while. Or do I just fucking post it as quick as possible because, you know, someone might beat me to it somehow. And you can ask around how many times I shared a friggin' telegram chart with, like, two buys on it, zero buys. Uh -huh. And 
there'd be like 10 buys one time like you try your best there's there's snipers some team members <laughs> may buy more than they say they are or they told it to their friend who knows this guy's literally saying you know how many contracts i posted for my community zero buys two buys or 10 buys uh, you know I'm, I'm so better than everyone else i'm such a white knight if you just go back this is uniswap right these are all the new tokens launching it just uniswap right if you go far back enough most of these are rug pulls so you're telling me that some of these developers reached out to you for calls or you're just calling them organically and you had nothing in these maybe okay maybe, maybe you're just the, the nicest guy in crypto and you don't do anything like that you're not in it to make money you're just in it for your fucking health for some reason i guess so basically he's admitting that everyone does it and this is how the game is played and i honestly from what i've experienced the more experience that i've become i'm starting to see for myself this is how the game is played um so it's just really it is about you need to be in a circle it's just about are you in a circle that stands and has integrity or are you in a circle that's willing to do any and everything and hey, fuck everybody else who gets hurt? Fuck all the collateral damage. Like, it just, that just comes down to a person's character. What type of people you want to surround yourself with? Now, people out here choosing to be by yourself or you don't have the time to dive in and stuff like that, this space is the wild, wild west. You need to be on a side. Like, being in this shit alone is crazy. Like, you need to learn certain things. And what you got to understand is, like, you get to certain levels. Like, like for instance... In my group, you're not going to see, in, in my Patreon, I, I have well friends and stuff like that, but they're not in my group. Obviously, they're at a level, I'm learning from them all the time. What, what they finna come step down to my group for and help a bunch of people who are who are probably lower than me or at the same level as me? Like, why would they do that? Like, there, it's no point of them being in my group. So, what, but what happens is, being in my group, eventually you get to you might get to a level where you surpass me so now you're at a point where maybe you make it into the groups that i'm also in it's like th this is this is what happens you you can form a strong network phone uh, form a strong bond with a bunch of people that that are all powerful and you all become powerful and feed off each other and stuff like that but then you have the victim mentality in the community where it's like oh they're doing this together that's not fair i'm out here by myself you you chose to be by yourself bro I started the same way. I think we all start the same way for the most part. Now, like I said, like them manipulating and lying and dumping and stuff like that, I'm not with all that. But you you gotta find a way to win. And the only way that I've seen people win throughout life is with a team behind them. You don't see solo people going into wars. You see groups, groups that's well-trained, well-calculated and together. That's what you see. So why are you out here trying to move by yourself and then cry with anything? Like, come on now, it's gonna be group v group most times. What group are you on? You just gotta be the better group. Like if you wanna sit here and talk about how all these these guys, these guys is getting together and dumping on people, bro, your group should be better. Find a way to Robin Hood that shit if you really care. <laughs> like, what? That's a thing people do. And let me tell you something. That's not a thing people do. Everybody's in it for the money. Some are more honest than others. But here's the thing. Okay, so if your exclusive Telegram group is buying, right, like I mentioned before, and this gets out to everywhere else because it's trending, right? It's fake volume. It's thrown in your call group, right? People are buying these tokens because you're calling them, not because there's some great fundamentals or some new groundbreaking meme, because you're calling them. So it creates this fake volume. Maybe it starts trending on, 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 on Dex tools. Maybe it starts trending on Dex screener. The rest of the public buys it because they see the positive price action. And then your exclusive Telegram group dumps on them. Isn't that not the same? Isn't that not similar? And who are these devs you're talking about? Who are these devs, right? These devs giving you these, these tokens. You don't think they're already in some of these projects before so they can dump on your group? And also these developers. How do you know these developers? Did you vet these developers? And if you did vet them, how do you really know them? What'd you, what'd you do? Did they send you a fucking KYC form? Did they send you a picture of their ID? Did you babysit their children? Did you go to high school with them? Did they fuck your wife? How do you know these guys? You don't know them. There's some random assholes reaching out to you for money. Hey, I'll give you some money if you put this in your Telegram group or give me an AMA. That's how it works in this space. But look it. If you're going to sit there and say, oh, Crash and the guys that are pumping multi-million dollar market cap meme coins are bad, but I'm not bad because I pumped them in my Telegram group you know, at earlier, you know, uh, to a price price points. And then these things rug pull a couple days later. I mean, what really is the difference here? I digress. Let's continue. Or they told it to their friend. Who knows what could happen back in those BSC days, but... You know, we share something at like 10k sometimes we get called pre-pumpers it's like i'm not even the dev for any of these man i literally copy and paste it as quickly as i can and then they're fine with these twitter guys sharing plays at 10 million market cap some of them get launched day one 
80 percent of the supply is sniped and it's in the millions of market cap before they shill it and me and venom who got held to a way higher standard than anyone else in the space any other influencers i've ever seen it's like jeez i can only imagine how fucking disgusted people on telegram would have been with these guys like everyone on telegram we didn't have a lot more ethics than these guys <laughs> we held everyone accountable wait hold the fuck up what'd you just say hold up we didn't what these guys like everyone on telegram we didn't have a lot more ethics than these guys but you know we held everyone accountable so if it got known that a, a certain get person, the fuck out of here channel guy or whatever was, was a oh my god supply, i mean that would get very public very quickly and people were watching for that shit They're like well what was that big so oh it was given by the dev i mean and the dev would say who did it oh we didn't have a lot more ethics than these guys okay what are we doing here you know what i mean and, and here's the thing like these guys are saying if someone of our team uh, was found out to have sold some of these tokens before anybody else it's like guy it's fucking DeFi. You could just create a new wallet, like a clean, fresh wallet, and you could, you know, just not buying your regular ass wallet than everyone sees, right? Some people are more careful than others. Some people leave their wallet docs, like Crash, which I'll be covering later today, right? But you don't think these other people could have wallets? Dude, that happens all the time. It's DeFi. It's anonymous for the most part, unless you send it to a centralized exchange and the authorities get in there, right? Then they can see that. But it's DeFi. I mean, look, the contradictions are insane. Yeah, we didn't have a lot more ethics than these guys, but you know what this sounds like to me? Wah, wah, these guys are doing so well. I crash hit 100,000 followers on X, and I, I don't have that many, and I've been in the space longer, but these guys are more successful to, than me. These guys are pumping better than I do. Anywho, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll be back on the grind a little later today. Be on the lookout for that second video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is kind of funny. <laughs> this was definitely kind of funny, bro. Hey, this guy's hilarious. Hey, listen. Let me know who sides y'all on in the comment section, man. I mean, he got a good point. He got a very strong point, very strong argument here. Um, personally, like I said, I'm not really on a side. I hear what dude's saying, but it does sound like a lot of, like it sounds like his team losing and he cried about it. Like that's what it sounds like, your team is losing. And it does sound like the other side is doing some shady stuff to people who don't know what's going on. But at the same time, it's like, it's these people's job to know what's going on and to get around people who know what's going on. And if they're not taking the proper steps to put themselves in position to win, they need to take these L's and, and to they learn what they what, what's going wrong. That, that's that's the only way you're gonna learn. This is one of those games where you gotta learn, like you, you gotta ride a bike and you gotta fall off it to, to learn how to stop falling off of it. Like this is just a game where you lose money when you fall off. So. I mean, it's not, th these people chose to jump into a hard game, a game that's controlled, and guess what? Life is controlled just like that. Life has just as serious consequences. So, I mean, everything comes at a risk, bro. I think that it's riskier not to play this game. Everybody just gotta learn how it's played. But yeah, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.